Hello folks here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue on this series of tutorial for how to test a React application or how to test React components. On the previous tutorial I showing you how to test uh, Axios post request and on this tutorial I'm going to help you how to mock Axios get method or how to test Axios get method when you make a request for API using get method if you are new to my channel try to subscribe to the channel first and also enable the bell to get all new videos and uh, tutorial when i upload them to the channel and also if you like the content try to press some up and that always will support me to continue uploading more tutorials and if you have any comment or also even if you'd like to comment about the tutorials let me know down on the comment section and uh, also if this first tutorial for you to watch i will advise you to go first to watch the previous tutorial and then try to follow us on this one so you can get the benefit the full benefit of this tutorial and i will leave the playlist url for all lists of these uh, tutorials about how to test react application or components down of this video so let me just show you that quickly on the previous video i talked about we added the json server but i didn't show you how that behave on the ui if i run here on this terminal just uh, let me run the the server by using npm run server script and on this second terminal i'm going to run the react app by using npm start script and this will take some second to load the code and then if i open this and this will open here as you see we have a delete button we didn't have this in the tutorial before the previous one and if I try to add a user here and try to add any email and as you see showing here the user with a delete button and I can delete it and if I try to add additional user here so we have a small issue basically we need to fix it will not be added to here so the issue because if I go to the terminal again here and if I switch to server is having duplicated same id duplicated id on if you remember for user id we tried to use this uh, new date and then we change it to local string and this will always will be the same id so that will make an issue with the server you need to change this instead of to local da uh, data string to be just get time and then this will fix the issue because the time will be different every time when we call this function and if we stop the server and run it again and should be this time if we go and reload the page we'll see the user that we added so this is the previous user if we try to add the same user that didn't appear last time and we should see this time if we submit as you see now we have we have this user and also we can delete it and uh, we are going on this tutorial only to focus on get or axios get method and how we can test it and how we can mock it if i come back again here so the test will fail because the previous test will fail because we change this id instead from local uh, to local uh, data string to get time we need to fix this before go to next uh, step let me first run the test here npm run uh, test and just let's fix first the uh, changes we did and also this will teach you how we can also actually update or refactoring your code and fixing any failure and as you see this is previously was expecting the id to be look like this and now the id changed to this time and how we can fix it let's go to the test failure which fails if we read from the test here telling us this directory which hooks dot test dot js has this test case is failing uh, let's go to this test case with the description if I come back here to this uh, directory hooks.test and if did quick search and if we find it here so this now is failing because we change this let's change it instead from this basically to be same what we change on this hook file here and I'm going to pass this time directly to this new date and to be then call it dot get time and then this will be a function and I will pass this ID directly to this mocker and this should fix the issue if I run the test again now we should have it pass so because the test will be updated to be uh, a time format that now we're fixing this issue so next we need to test uh, this uh, get 
access get method here when make a request to fetch a user so we're calling this fetch user in twice position here and this when we're adding a new user so to update the user on ui here basically if we didn't call that the ui will not be updating and also when we delete also to update the ui with the uh, the user that left only we have okay let's see if i come back again here let's add a new test case in this file let's call it test uh, should return list of users when call fetch users and should uh, return list of users when call fetch users on add user for example when we need to call add user because we don't have direct access to add user we don't export that if you uh, see here we don't uh, export add user and uh, actually we can call this directly we don't need because we have this this function here we can call it directly we have exported here we can change the description should return list of user when call handle or fetch users only we don't need to worry about this so because already we can access this function directly when we call hand uh, fetch user should return list of users and inside here i'm going first to create list of users that we expecting users will be an array array of uh, users and user will be an object this object here and i'm going to override the value for this and this first name will be more last name example Duina and email and b at b.com and id one two three four and this is our list of users here and next line we need to mock actually the response for the fetch function how we can mock it if you remember in previous tutorial we imported this you have to import to mock fetch access as the top here we need to mock the get method already we mocked this on previous tutorial and this will allow us to do it inside the test case too sorry maybe you hearing the fireworks outside uh, if you hear that sorry for the noise in the background and so let's just mock this as i mentioned if i it will be similar to this one i'm going to copy this line basically axios dot get instead of post get dot mock implementation once which will be only one time and here this because synchronous call will return a promise so promise in this uh, scenario we are going to resolve it instead of reject it because the previous one was for error and here instead of this error i'm going to re resolve it with the data so because this will return a data and the data will be users and the users is this variable here we created and then in this line here i will expect to let's see what is this uh, fetch user will do basically uh, fetch user will make a request it will get a data then it will set the users to with the new data we get in this scenario we'll expect when call this function to update these users with the new value that's returned in this scenario we need to access these users so how we can access access users we need to import this uh, hooks here let me add this new line here and we can access it basically first we need to call this function and uh, to access this function first we need to call it inside this act function if you remember if we need to call a function we call it inside this act uh, let me scroll here act and then this will be a callback function inside and then just uh, to access this function call fetch will be result dot current dot fetch user or fetch users and then after this line we'll expect i expect users how we can access users users will be inside result uh, dot users uh, to equal to equal these users we have it here and that it basically and this because synchronous call we need to add a sync await for this will be a sync await and also need here to have await and let's go and run the test case and npm run test as you see here now the test passed but also let's make sure the test fail 
for example if I said expect the user to be uh, empty array and let's see and should fail if didn't fail then there is something wrong with our test and ooh, ooh, here we are so the test failed saying uh, expected uh, this empty but receive this data that's now is good so we have test is passed because if we just compare the initial users is empty array but now after uh, calling this fetch user it will be updated with this data that we just mocked that we mocked it here and so if we need to recap this quickly basically uh, to mock this axios you have first to do this uh, step first to mock the uh, general axios and the methods that you need to mock also for example this scenario to be to mock this get and get because this function we need to assign it to just function so that will be uh, you can mock it easily at the bottom and same because this we did this post for previous tutorial and in this line so we can spread all other function inside this mock uh, and uh, at the uh, second step here as a, inside your test case you need to recreate your expected uh, data and then how, this is the way how you can mock uh, mock or mock uh, axios method will be axios dot get then mock implementation once because we need to mock it only one time and because we need to get a data uh, we'll use this promise dot resolve because it's synchronous call and then inside will be this object has a key called data and the value will be this users and we how we can access uh, this fun function inside this hook and also this user inside this hooks by accessing this result dot current inside this current we can access all functions that in uh, return or export from inside this and also we can access these uh, states we have here for example you can access users and users too so basically this is how to test uh, axios get method and i hope this was clear and simple and if you like the video and uh, try to press some up and uh, let me know what you learned from this tutorial and how do you find it and that also support me to continue adding more tutorials and videos and thank you for watching and see you in very next tutorial